In Creo Simulate, you can perform a pre-stress modal analysis. A modal analysis allows you to calculate the natural frequencies and mode shapes of your components, but static loads can alter the stiffness of your parts and assemblies, especially if you have centrifugal forces for components that are rotating at high speeds. Let's take a look at how to do a pre-stress modal analysis. Here I have a blade. It is a component in some turbo machinery. It's going to be rotating at a high speed. Let's go to applications and then simulate. And the first thing that I like to do is assign my material. Let's go to material assignment and I'll click on the more button because I do not want to use the default material that was added in Creo 7. I'll go to my old legacy materials and grab a titanium alloy. Oh, looks like it's already added to the model. Let's just select it and then hit the select button and then click OK out of here. The next thing for a modal analysis is to define my constraints. I will click on the displacement icon and let me zoom in to these mounting locations. I'm just going to select the four holes and then control for this flat surface as well and then click the OK button. Now I have everything I need in order to do a regular modal analysis. Let's go to analyses and studies and then from the file drop down menu I can choose new modal and for the name of the analysis let's call this blade modal and then I have my constraint set for the number of modes, I'm going to crank this up to six modes that I want to calculate. There's an output tab. I'll leave all the defaults on here. For convergence, let me change this to multi-pass adaptive. And I'll go from a minimum polynomial order of one to a maximum of nine. Let's converge on the frequency and let's make this a little tighter. Let's use 5% and I'm not going to exclude any elements out of here. Let's click the OK button and let me check my settings. I just want to make sure I have a good RAM allocation. I like that. And the analysis is ready to go. Let's hit the green flag. Yes, I always like to run interactive diagnostics. And let's monitor the status and give it a few seconds in order to complete. All right, it went through four passes and I saw that it went to a maximum edge order of six. And then I can see my frequencies in here. I have the first frequency at about 9.2 Hertz. The second one is at 73.9. Third one is at 91.7. Then we have 138.8, 272.2 and 363.3 .3. and so those are the modal frequencies when the object is not under load let's close out of here now i'm going to define a static analysis let's close the analyses and design studies dialog box and then for my load i'm going to define a centrifugal load and so let me take a look at this looks like i want to do an angular velocity I think around the Y direction should be good. So let's choose for this one. I'm going to use, let's use instead of radians per second, I'll use RPM. And then let's type in a value of 1500 and then click the OK button. Now I will define my static analysis. You must have a static analysis in order to do a pre-stress modal later on. So let's go to the file drop down menu, new static. And I will call this my blade static. And I've got my constraint set selected and my load set. Let's change the convergence to multi-pass adaptive. Crank up the maximum edge order to 9. I'll converge on the local displacement, local strain energy, and the global root mean square stress. Let's again narrow down our convergence percentage to about 5. And I don't need to change anything on the other two tabs. Let's click the OK button. And once again, we will run the analysis. And yes, I want interactive diagnostics. Let's monitor the status. 
and come back in a few seconds. Okay, it went through six passes up to a maximum edge order of six. Let's close out of here. And I'm not going to take a look at the results for the static analysis. I just need the static analysis in order to take a look at the pre-stress modal analysis. Let's go to the file drop-down menu. Here we have new pre-stress. And you have two different choices, pre-stress static, which I will show in another video. But let's do our pre-stress modal. And here, let's change the name. This will be my blade pre-stress modal and we have our constraint set like before I'm going to calculate six modes once again then we have this previous analysis tab and I can use the static analysis results from a previous design study this is the one that I just ran also you have a load scale factor you can multiply this load by a scale factor rather than creating a different load set if you need to or creating a different static analysis and then we have the output tab you'll notice in this particular situation stresses are turned off by default because this is a modal analysis let's go to convergence once again i will change to multi-pass adaptive let's crank up the maximum edge order and then reduce the convergence criteria so it is a little tighter and i am not going to exclude any elements now I will click on the OK button and let's hit the green flag in order to run it. Yes, I want interactive diagnostics and let's go to monitor the run status. All right, that one completed. It also went to four passes with a maximum edge order of six. But this time we can see that our frequencies are a little different so before the first one was around 9 hertz and then this one is at 20 hertz then the second one is at 77.4 then we have 102.1 then 146.5 291.9 and 374 hertz and so we can take a look at a comparison of these different numbers Let's select our original modal analysis and then click on the icon to go into results mode. Let's take a look at the first mode and let's go to the display options and deform it and animate it. And I always like continuous tone and then click OK and show. Oh, let me change the name of the window. This is, this is going to be the modal only mode one and now i can click ok and show and so there we can see the first mode is a little bit flashy on the computer screen and for the first mode again we can see that the value is about 9.23 let's use the open button in order to create a second results window this time i will select the blade pre-stress modal analysis and then click the open button and let's give a title for this one. This is going to be the pre-stress modal mode one. And once again, I'll go to display options, continuous tone, deformed and animate it, and then OK and show. And so there we can see our pre-stress modal on the right versus the regular modal on the left. And we can see that mode one in this particular case is a value of 20.7 hertz. So again, having a static load on your model can end up changing the modal frequency. So that's why you would want to do a pre-stress modal analysis in certain situations.